great morning sunshines it's monday 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 <laughs> so we are miracle morning together together today and um, i did not do sunday we tried to do no screen sunday yesterday did you guys try to do it anybody else you were going to post and share with me if you were um it was like super challenging for an entire day so we did like no screen a lot of the sunday sunday and then some screen sunday and then a couple posts so maybe didn't exactly nail it but hey we we tried so uh, maybe you guys did too but morning Patricia how you doing today guys we're gonna do our miracle morning together and like I said last week we're going to focus on our savers so that we have a little bit more routine for those of you guys that have been doing this for um, it's been like two months now that we've been rocking this out. You guys are amazing. Good morning, Angie. So for those of you guys that are regulars, um, you drop your good morning sunshine in. Jose already knows what he's doing. Morning, Stacy. Morning, Jose. How are you guys doing today? And then we always share our gratitude. So, um, you know, starting your day off with gratitude. Morning, Michael. What's going on? I love that I see you on here each day. Um, um, starting your day off with gratitude can change your attitude. It can change your happiness. Morning, Tom. It can change your perception of what's going on around yesterday morning when you woke up or Friday morning when you woke up or Saturday whatever it was so um, really like f like finding that gratitude right when you wake up about why today is amazing and what you get to get after today and um, call God why can I that is the best apparently my system was angry that I was just shouting out that I love Dr. Nick. So sorry, it just crashed on me. Morning, Miranda. Um, not sure how many people are still on here because we just had a little break, a little technology break, which is perfect for this morning. So I'm thankful. One of my gratitudes is that my phone's back on now for now, right? Um, so share with me any of your gratitude, you guys. Today, I've got, every day I've got so many things that I'm thankful for, but uh, I'm thankful that I was able to go for a run this morning. I'm thankful for, like, for my body, whatever, like, use I have of my body while I have it, I am so grateful for. And it's funny, because with all of my, like, injuries and impaling all, all the stuff that goes on with me sometimes people are like well maybe you should stop working out or like do you think once you fix your arm then maybe you won't go back and do all that ridiculous stuff and my answer is automatically are you batshit crazy like I have my body to be able to use it and not to be able to like sit around on a couch I'm always gonna push the limits I'm always gonna push myself because that's who I am because that's 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 why I'm here like I'm not gonna just sit around and wait for life to be over instead I'm gonna use whatever I've got for as long as I've got so today I'm thankful that I was able to go out for a run um, despite forgetting or not realizing that it was only 32 degrees and freezing my butt off I'm thankful for that I'm thankful for the chill that I've had I'm thankful for the tenacity to keep going during it um, and I'm thankful that I'm back in a warm home and drinking a warm drink. So there you go. Morning, everybody else that jumped on here. Share your good morning, sunshine. Share your um, your gratitude for today. And then, like I had said, we're going to focus on our savers. So Mondays are about silence and actually not the talk. Just like real quick, in your sharing for your good morning, sunshine, or for your miracle morning, if you're doing that, share with me today um, anything that you are doing right now for your meditation or your silence piece like are you having problems getting quiet are you guys able to do it do you need help do you need some suggestions can you offer suggestions to other people so in our savers our silence affirmation visualization exercise reading scribing for your silence specifically how's that going for you and what are you doing uh, for me right now currently because I am able to get out and run that's where my silence comes um, the phone's off you're not like I'm not connected to anything I'm not with music I'm just literally out there and being and that's where I feel like I can really get some silence uh, in I do love like when I was in my yoga classes doing that or just like a peaceful like sit as it's, it's harder for me but I can do it uh, I really do though enjoy getting quiet while my heart's racing like there's something about having that silence when the endorphins are are running um, running high and then you're clearing out your mind so that you can pull other things in so I had that this morning already morning Natalie love all your hearts then uh, let me know if there's something that you have going on morning joy for your silence and your meditation okay 
Then today we're going to talk about something that I was thinking about while I was going through my morning run and um, just in general, like I go through this prosperity plan where I see where my life um, is going, what I'm becoming, what I'm going to have. So it's this full powerful, basically like miracle morning routine when I'm out doing my run. That's that's the major reason why I like it. And sometimes you guys, it takes me a full 30 minutes just to start to like even get into my brain because I've got to clear so much stuff, right? So this morning I was thinking about it and I was visualizing like who I am and who I'm becoming and um, what that looks like. And like it's, if you got up here, you guys, that's like, I, I don't know, other people would probably think that I'm a little bit like bad shit crazy, but I don't think so. Like I love all of the dreams that I'm creating in my head and that's how you, that's you know, dream big to achieve big, right? And with that, one of the things is I've, I kind of have like gone back and forth with is you see all this stuff where it's like you have to like work hard to earn it or like nothing comes easy or like it's like it's always about the grind and I see that piece of it and I like I like that like I like working hard I like giving like my all into something um, I like pushing the limits where it's just like feels like a little bit uncomfortable not like just getting uncomfortable doing something you're not used to like getting past that line like that shake of uncomfortableness whether that's in working out and success in business I enjoy that side of it but also so I see the side where people say like when you can create ease in your life you can just start to attract those things you can start to attract success you can start to attract like a different type of lifestyle so I see both sides of it and as I was um, out there today I was thinking about how uh, like really what my ultimate goal is to be able to um, like definitely I have a lot in my like attract attracting things is in my um, different affirmations that I'm using like I attract wealth I attract success I attract love I attract passion I attract life like I see all of that and also I see the need to also throw yourself completely in passionately and work your ass off so when you combine those two what it sounded like in my head is that I sweat with a smile and um, then I was like kind of like I was like oh, yeah that that makes sense right like sweating with a smile makes sense because some people don't sweat at all and um, what I mean by that is like just the the reflection of having hard work in your life so sweat whether it's physically sweat when you're out in a workout when you're in a run when you're at the gym getting a lift like do you sweat do you work so hard that you sweat or do you sweat in life like you know those days where you have like a 12 hour grind of work or maybe an 18 hour grind of work or you forget to eat because you're so busy that's a sweat like that's work effort that you're putting in right I used to um, my daughter and I we made these like uh, bracelets at gymnastics once when we were doing a sleepover and I had sweat on one side and faith on the other and so you just like what did you need that day like what what sort of things did you have going on and you always need both but looking at the sweat side of the band and thinking that it's not just like I'm I'm just in the grind I'm just on it all the time and that like cuz that can be a little bit miserable for some people right but can you find something in your life where you can sweat with a smile and when I combine those two that makes me happy because you know that you're working after something that's worth the sweat that while you're doing it you're so excited about the um, the outcome that you're creating that you've got the smile pasted across your face so uh, this is my question for you guys when you're out there in anything in life like the workout analogy is always the easiest with this stuff right so like if you're out there and you're 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 grinding at the gym or you're in your run or you're in the pool or you're on a bike or whatever that is are you sweating with a smile like are you actually enjoying the grind because when you can when you can create that like you know that you're gonna keep doing it you know that it's something that's a lifestyle for you like when I go to my dance classes you guys I literally leave dripping sweat and I have a smile ear to ear like I am laughing all the way to the car because I have so much freaking fun yes I sweat with a smile right um, but it's not just about that like what about in your work like when you go to work Number one, are you even in a place where you're sweating with quotes around it? Like, are you even in a place where you're um, like working your ass off, like, you know, like just working so hard? And if you are, do you have the smile on your face? Because 
maybe you're just doing it because this is like you're like uh, maybe it's a state of resignation like this is what I have to do this is the work effort I put in and it just is what it is and you don't have the smile associated because you you haven't related that to what it's creating so that means you either need to change your mindset about like just bringing the smile in or changing what you're doing so that the smiles actually there right so it could be in success it could be in relationships it could be in family it could be anywhere you're working on progression in your life are you sweating with a smile and I think what I'd like to do this week with you guys is start to talk about like the, the, the biggest disconnect that some people could be hearing right now is one, they're just still stuck at the gym. They're like, why would I even work out and smile ever? Like you're crazy lady, right? That could be the first one. Um, but you guys, if, that, if that's where your disconnect is, like why are you at the, like why are you at the gym getting after it? Why are you taking care of your body? Like what's the end result? How does that make you feel? And really like you'll smile when you think about how confident and great you feel, um, especially when you relate it to when you haven't felt like that before in the past, right? So it could be that, but on the, on the success side, on your lifestyle side, if it's not making sense to you right now, it might be because you haven't really found your passion. Like you're trying to figure out what does that even look like? Like what does it even look like to find something in my life that I want to work that hard at and smile all the while? Oh my God, I'm like a poet. I'm so smart today, right? Smile all the while. I get myself every time. Okay. <clears throat> So what, like, do you have something in your life that is, that is creating that desire to sweat with a smile that you're actually running after? So I want to take a little bit of time and talk to you guys about that this week. I'm reading a book, Grit, which I think that goes uh, very well with what we're talking about. And if I'll probably like have like squirrels and I'll go off on some other tangent, but it's going to be my attempted focus for a couple days. So if you don't really feel like you have your passion in your life or you don't quite understand what that means yet. You're like, am I passionate about that? Like if there's an, am I running after my passion? You're probably not quite there yet, but you might be close. So let's get into figuring out what your passion is, what that look that we you know, what that could look like and how we could start to transition life a little bit so that you can start living and speaking into that. Okay. That's it for this Monday morning. Um, make sure you guys share what we're supposed to share your good morning sunshine your gratitude But today's Monday. So you're sharing something about your silence or meditation I'll go back through and I'll read to see if you guys are having any challenges with your meditation or shoot me a uh, DM Natalie you just do that the whole time just hearts all the time because it makes my heart so happy I have gratitude for you right now All right guys have a great Monday and we will talk to you later